Good morning, Pointers. Today is Thursday, January 14th, and it is a B-Day. My name is Grace. And I'm Brianna. We are part of the track and field team Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 3 to 3.30 with Miss Antonelli and Miss Wade. The Google Me codes as PMS track and field. Join the tennis team with Miss Ryan from 3 to 3.30, Mondays through Fridays. Use SPMS Tennis 2021 as the meeting code. Can't wait to see you there. BCPL is having a virtual Battle of the Books information session today. Click the link in Schoology to learn more. Fandemonium Baltimore County Public Library's own local Comic Con has expanded to multiple days this year, starting January 21st. And of course, you can enjoy all from home. Use the link in the Library Schoology page to check out the events and be sure to enter the costume contest to win prizes. Hey Pointers, do you like to stay fit, have fun, learn a new sport, or get better at one you already know and meet and hang out with new people? If so, join Ms. Smith and her virtual Allied Softball League. The group meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3. See you there at A. Smith Allied Softball. Here are Max and Mako. In celebration of Black History Month, the Office of Social Studies and the Office of English Language Arts are co-sponsoring a writing contest for all students grades K through 12. Go to the library Schoology group for details. Now the green tip of the day. The green tip of the day. Have you met Mr. Trash Wheel? He is a sustainably powered trash interceptor in the Baltimore Harbor. Mr. Trash Wheel's job is to clean the harbor by collecting and eating up our litter. He has collected 1,561 tons of trash and debris. He also has two family members, Professor Trash Wheel and Captain Trash Wheel, who have the same job. If you visit the harbor, take a stroll around the promenade. You may find yourself seeing Mr. Trash Wheel at work. He also has social media accounts, and you can follow him on his journey to clean our harbor. We love Mr. Trash Wheel. Now, Tech Tips with Ms. Farrell. Hi, everyone. Today for Tech Tips, I'm going to keep talking about doing searches. And today we're going to talk about understanding web addresses, like the domain suffixes, .org, .gov, .com, .net, and .edu. .gov. This is only used by the U.S. government. What you find here is going to be a credible source. For example, USA.gov is the homepage for the federal government. .edu. This is usually used by colleges and universities. This domain suffix needs a closer look because some of the websites with .edu at the end are for specifically for the university or college. For example, Towson.edu. But also, colleges and universities let students have personal websites, which will have a .edu at the end, too. So that's just going to be a student's opinion and not as reliable as what you get from the actual university. .coms are usually commercial or intended for business. This domain suffix needs a closer look. Blogs are usually .com, and anyone can start a blog, and anyone can write whatever they want in a blog. Can you find other sources to help you support this information? .net. This is usually used by technical organizations, but tends to be a catch-all for all sites that don't fit into other domains. These need to be evaluated for accuracy. .org. These are usually used by charities and nonprofits. Most sites with .org are reliable. However, there are some nonprofits who do not post reliable information but opinions. Make sure to check these sites for accurate, unbiased information. An example of a nonprofit with reliable information is Red Cross at www.redcross.org. As always, you can ask Ms. Farrell if you have any questions. Today's Spotlight on Books is Ice Dogs by Terry Lynn Johnson. Victoria, a 14-year-old Alaskan dog sled racer, loses her way on a routine outing with her dogs. With food gone and temperatures dropping, her survival and that of her dogs and the mysterious boy she meets in the woods is entirely up to her. Check it out in Destiny Today.
Get your pictures in the STMS yearbook at johnstons.com. The login ID is 415 484 157. The yearbook club needs your pictures to capture the memories of our virtual learning. Our page themes include pictures with your masks on, pictures with you and your pet, pictures of you during your brain breaks, pictures of you and your quarantine bubble of friends and family being active outside or doing winter activities, pictures of you and any extracurricular activities, and pictures of you and your SBMS spirit wear. Now for the quote of the day. We cannot put off living until we are ready. Jose Ortega, why gas it? Have a great day, Point.